Um, welcome to the fifth annual Energy Symposium that's sponsored by the Energy Institute um, at the Price College at OU. Uh, I'm Jay Jemerson. I am the chairman of the advisory board for the Energy Institute, and I will be your MC today. We're on a tight schedule, so it's my primary job to keep us um, on schedule today, and we'll try to do that. Um, in past years, this is the fifth annual, in past years we've uh, held this symposium down at Norman. Many of you have attended it in the past, uh, but this year we wanted to uh, come up to the city, uh, perhaps make it a little more accessible to those of you that are working uh, downtown, and based on the response that we've received, I think it was a, a good move and uh, to get a little more exposure to uh, the Oklahoma City market and even the Tulsa market and um, and also expose uh, some of you to the Institute and what we do um, um, if you haven't um, already become familiar with the Institute. Um, as most of you know, OU um, has been a world leader in energy education for many years. And uh, to continue with that tradition, the Energy Institute was formed several years ago. And the Institute brings together academics and professionals um, in the energy industry to really discuss, debate um, important energy issues to improve energy management um, and education and to provide uh, really leading cutting edge um, energy research. And this is all achieved through um, the classroom, first of all, through the Executive Energy MBA program, um, through the Executive Energy Management program, through energy research and publications, and through public outreach to address important meetings. Um, and one of the important public outreach uh, events that the symposium um, hosts every year is this symposium, and as you guys can tell, looking at the uh, the program, we have some uh, fairly hot topics today. I think so. This this year's program will once again feature um, what I consider to be an all-star lineup of distinguished uh, energy experts who are, will engage in a pretty wide-ranging discussion of important issues relating to this year's theme. If you look in your program, it's America's future, the role of energy and policy in achieving visionary objectives. Um, our experts today will be addressing some traditional, traditional issues in the energy industry as well as some really current um, issues that we're facing today. Um, so your program, if you don't have one, it would be a good idea to get one. Your program provides an outline of the panel discussions today and the subjects that they will be discussing. And our first session, session will start in about 10 minutes at 8.15, last till about 9.45. Uh, and that first session um, will discuss the forces that are shaping the future of energy. After the first session, we'll take about a 10 to 15 minute break. Um, and after the break, at about 10 o'clock, uh, Mr. Ken Hirsch, who's the co-founder of NGP Energy Capital and the CEO of uh, the George W. Bush Presidential Center will be here to deliver our keynote address. You won't want to miss that. I know that will be good. Um, after the keynote address, we'll take another short break, uh, about 10 minutes or so, and then we'll start our second session, which will include three separate panel discussions, and that will be moderated um, or at least managed by um, uh, Dean Mike Stice. Um, the first panel of the second session will start around 11, right at 11, um, actually, um, and that one will be moderated by Dr. Jeremy Boak, the director of the Oklahoma Geological Survey. And that this, the first panel will tackle one of the uh, tough issues. They will be discussing the seismicity issues, which, of course, have been the subject of quite a bit of discussion uh, this past year in this state. The second panel will be moderated by Dr. Kyle Murray, the uh, hydrologist, uh, hydrogeologist at the Oklahoma Geological Sur uh, Survey and uh, also a professor at OU. And this panel will discuss current water-related issues in the energy industry and possible or potential solutions. Um, those obviously are also very important issues um, in the energy industry today. Then the third and final panel will be moderated by uh, Dean Mike Stice, Dean of the Mewburn School of Earth and Energy at OU, and uh, the third panel will discuss carbon issues, um, including carbon emission issues, and perhaps what we can do about that. Before we start our first panel, uh, let me introduce and thank a few people. First of all, uh, Dr. Depanker Ghosh. I don't know where, to... oh, here he is, right here. Uh, Dr. Ghosh is David Ross Boyd and David C. Steed Professor of Accounting at OU. Um, he is the founding executive director of the Energy Institute. And I can tell you, having worked with him for several years, that he is the workhorse and the brains behind the Energy Institute. Um, he spends countless hours uh, working on the Energy Institute, so thank you. Um, Adam Clinton, Taylor Heatley, 
uh, Keith, LeBron, um, are all from OU, and they have spent many hours also ensuring that this is a success today. Christina Donovan, who uh, works with me, has also spent, uh, and I know she's here today too somewhere, she has spent a lot of time helping us with the logistics and ensuring that today uh, uh, is a success with no glitches. Uh, also, let me say thanks to Devon Energy for allowing us to use this facility today. This is a tremendous facility, and we've got a great great turnout, great response, and thanks to all the people at Devon uh, who um, coordinated with us to, to uh, pull this event off today and be prepared for the event. Um, let me now uh, introduce you to uh, Dean Daniel Pullen, uh, who will also welcome you to this year's symposium. Uh, Daniel Pullen is the Dean of the Price College of uh, Business at OU. Um, I can tell you he understands uh, the energy business and its importance to all of us, including the importance of excellence in energy education um, in order to really develop uh, tomorrow's energy leaders. Uh, he's been a very big supporter of the Energy Institute and its educational research um, and outreach initiatives. Um, he bleeds crimson and cream. Right, no doubt. He earned an undergraduate degree in accounting and finance from OU, his MBA from Harvard, and um, his law degree also from OU. So he does bleed crimson and cream. Let me, uh, join me in welcoming, welcoming uh, Dean Pullen. Well, thank you, Jay. I really appreciate the introduction, and I really want to thank everyone for, for investing of your time and talent today and being an active participant in what we all know is a, a dynamic and important conversation for us to have in this all-important industry. Uh, today marks the fifth energy symposium. We've been uh, uh, practicing and perfecting this level of outreach for half of a decade now, and I think this year's may be the finest example of, of what uh, can occur when an academic institution locks arms with the private sector amidst federal and state uh, leadership uh, to really tackle the biggest issues of our time, particularly from a business perspective. In fact, next year, uh, the Price College of Business will celebrate 60 years of business energy education. And in so many ways, leadership in this all-important sector is central to our college's purpose, which simply is to ensure the enduring global competitiveness of Oklahoma and the nation. And the only way we can ensure the enduring competitiveness competitiveness of Oklahoma and the nation is by tackling the greatest issues of our time. And of course, this all-important sector rises to the top of that list. And so we're honored and proud to offer one of the world's most comprehensive collections of business energy programs that are really designed to prepare the leaders this industry needs at all stages of their careers, from the time they're 18 years old in our undergraduate programs all the way to 81 and beyond. Uh, the Price College of Business, working arm in arm across the University of Oklahoma, has something to say about these important conversations. Of course, our leading position in business energy education could not be possible without the collaboration and cooperation that we enjoy with many of OU's sister colleges, some of which have been in, the, uh, in energy education for over 100 years. Specifically, our work with OU's Mubern College of Earth and Energy, the Gallagher College of Engineering, the College of Atmospheric and Geographic Sciences, and yes, OU Law, all culminate in uh, a decision we made institutionally seven years ago to form the Energy Institute. And today, this Energy Institute is uh, a, a leading one in the nation, in the world. It serves as a platform for important thought leadership, intellectual exchange, and uh, a place where we can truly discuss the complex issues confronting today's energy leaders. Our research informs policy and business strategy, and our outreach programs foster meaningful dialogue amongst energy professionals the world over. Our intellectual leadership draws upon an important blend of academic and executive champions who together generate business insights that inform industry operations and improve business decision making. For example, in each of the last six years, the Price College of Business has partnered with the U.S. Department of uh, Energy's in Energy Information Administration, 
where, to receive federal funding to support our research activities, to generate important insights that find their way and inform domestic and global energy policy. A bet on the types of insights that are generated right here in Price College at the University of Oklahoma and through this Energy Institute. From an educational perspective, we work hard every day to ensure that our graduates are recognized as a high value asset to not only their employer, but to the industry as a whole. And our energy academic programs are regularly ranked in the top five in the world. But what's most exciting is that we're not stopping. Amidst one of the largest downturns in the sector's history, others are tapping the brakes. But at OU, Quite literally, we're pushing the gas. Amidst this downturn, our institute had a series of tough conversations, difficult decisions to make, and we determined that there's more that we can do to leverage our talent, not only in the business school, but across the University of Oklahoma. And so as you might imagine, and you know, we are an academic institution, we started with data from a fundamental base of research, and we've developed a new vision called Real Energy Leaders. Today, that vision serves as a focal point to communicate how OU and the Price College of Business develops energy leaders that the, our state and nation need to compete at global scale. Our ambitions for Price College and the Energy Institute go far beyond our position of leadership here in Oklahoma. Today, we offer the most comprehensive range of quality leadership learning programs for ambitious, forward-thinking leaders globally. Our highly acclaimed programs have been co-authored, tailor-made with the thoughts of industry leaders in mind, by the industry, for the industry. Today, we're excited to do more to share that message to a wider array of stakeholders who we believe are critical to be our partners in this ambition. The central point of reference for these new marketing efforts is a new website, realenergyleaders.com. And I encourage you to visit and share the website and connect with us through social media channels such as LinkedIn and Twitter. And for you Twitter users in the audience today, I know our marketing team will be very pleased about this. Please join the digital conversation that's going on real time with our official event hashtag, hashtag OUEnergy17. In the coming weeks and months, you will see our faculty, you will see our students, you will see our alumni and friends of the program take even more active roles in telling the stories that make OU energy education so distinctive and so impactful. You'll read our insights and major energy publications, which have historically been um, important outlets for the, the wisdom and insights to be disseminated. You'll find our voice, the OU voice, in every corner of the country, every corner of the globe, and we're just getting started. So to set the scene for today's event, I thought I would share with you a piece of content. It's very fresh content. It's actually going to be de debuted today. That's meant to both inspire and I believe paint a portrait of what a real energy leader is. Now you'll notice this video is very different than what you might typically see from a university. It, in fact, the entire campaign, I think, uh, dri differs dramatically from traditional collegiate marketing efforts, but that's by design. With this video, we really want people to remember the extent to which the energy industry powers the world. People often forget that there's, just, there's more to energy than just extracting hydrocarbons from the ground. Energy powers homes. Energy powers innovations. It moves people from one place to another. It enables research. It fosters technological advancements, breakthroughs that, were po that are possible today that weren't possible yesterday. Energy in all its forms drives humanity forward. Without further ado, please enjoy our portrait of a real energy leader. Within your hands and within your brain, is an immense power few will ever attain. You have a vault of knowledge, skill, and talent to turn dark to light, to make all that is confounding and gray turn to astonishing and bright. You use it to fuel realities that are grounded and dreams that are vast. 
You harness its power brilliantly so nothing is out of your grasp. You pull its power from the land, the sea, the air. Seven billion people are ultimately in your care. You're on a journey where unimaginable leaps have been made over time. You have a clear path ahead to make a positive difference on all of mankind. You can use it to empower, enlighten, and connect, to forge further ahead, or to quietly reflect. Ultimately, it's an honor, a duty, and a way of being. It's energy, and to it, you bring meaning.